can you, can you just talk a little bit about what it was like to come back and play in front of a full house of Buff Arena again? And it seemed like you looked as competitive out there as what you did 10 years ago. Oh, no, I was just having fun. I haven't played in Buff since I like eight years ago. So I was just excited and happy to be here. Um, I thought I'd never play on that floor again, so I was always excited. It was, a, it was definitely a good experience for me. For any of you guys, uh, the last we talked about this, if this was something that Kentucky decided to do, bring alumni in more regularly for an off-season game, is that something you guys would come back and continue doing again? Yeah, that's something that we would obviously look forward to doing again. Um, I think uh, if we would have got a much of an earlier notice, I think we'd have been in a little bit better shape <laughs> for you guys to be able to see what we really can do. Um, which, you know, the UK fans have been great to us. Great to myself, um, and uh, obviously we, we let them down tonight. Um, it, was, it was a fun game, but uh, you know, obviously they've been practicing and we haven't. Uh, we was out of shape. Um, we had to call out of timeouts in the second half. Um, but uh, hopefully in the future we can do something like this again and uh, get an earlier notice, and we'll be in tip-top shape, ready to go, and put on a show like you guys know we can do. Keith and Tayshawn, especially, you guys, um, Cal Perry, when he got here, said he really wanted to reach out to former players. You guys didn't play, obviously, for Cal, but have you felt that? Have you uh, felt he's reached out to you guys to kind of come back into the fold? Cal Perry is special. He's special in every sense of the word. Um, uh, like, you know, these guys up here with me, uh, and myself, we, we never played with, you know, we never had the opportunity to play for Coach Cal. Uh, we heard a lot about him and how fun it is to play his style of offense. Um, and obviously we've seen that the last few years here in the UK. Uh, but he's been in touch with, with us a lot, which has been huge. Um, and I think that's something that every college in itself should do um, to get uh, you know the pros and the alums and all the guys back and uh, you know have some, whether it's just a game or whatever it is, something for a weekend or whatever it may be, because uh, uh, I think Cal Perry will continue to do things like this, whether it's a game or something else, and make it special for us. And, you know, one thing he mentioned as well was uh, if there's a lockout, he opened the gym up for us, you know, to come in and work out. So he's doing some great things. And, um, you know, congratulations to him tonight with the Dominican team with those guys playing well. Hey, Sean. You hit a couple of threes early. Was you having North Carolina flashbacks? No, I wasn't because uh, I knew at some point I was going to run out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I found about this game, I found out that we we're going to play this game, which was probably about a week ago. I only had about four days to get something going, so I'm surprised I made those. Because is here, I mean, we can go. <laughs> Keith, could you and Nazi talk about what it's been like for you all to come back and with Cal? Would you all like to come back and do these kind of things again? No, we, we've been talking about it already. Um, if he had more games, we're going to come back. We might try to organize some ourselves, but we don't. But definitely, we want to come back and do some on the weekend. Like have a weekend or some. You know, just come back and have fun. You know, hang out with the fans and the new young guy. Any more questions for this trio? Oh, yeah, it's something that uh, <clears throat> we, we talk amongst ourselves about when we uh, first want to check the cast and see uh, if he has anything planned. You know, if he doesn't, whether it's informally, us coming back, just kind of, you know, teaching the young guys something, playing with the young guys, or uh, us doing something bigger or trying to have our weekend. But, uh, you know, we're going to sit and talk about him and figure it out. There he is. Come on, Rondo. One last question. I just have a question for Nazi. They played in the arena as all over the kind of the world, whatever. I mean, what is Rob Green that actually got back to the arena? I mean, this is a special place. Uh, there's not too many universities that uh, have the uh, following that we have. I mean, I don't think it's been more than part of three or four universities that can put on a game like this and so do that. And have a second game because it was so hot. So, uh, we were special to get the opportunity to go on that floor again in front of our fans. Uh, uh, hopefully, we can do it again. That would be 
been nice because uh, you know our, our fans follow follow Kentucky ball and they follow us, but you know they don't, they don't get the chance to follow from many NBA games. So uh, to get a chance to play in front of them is special. Marcus Cousins and John Rondo. 